there's your title of the video there and it's part 284C3M1B7A11 so it's line 22 F1 FA 19C 3M1B7A11 high temp superconductivity 5G well SETI and there's the alien radio signal there this is the keyword research and November 26th was when I was working on it. Today's December 12th, 2012. So the keyword research continues from valence band to electron hole and high temperature semiconductors from previous videos. So basically, I'm, these are, this is all the meanings of the different keywords that came up in the data, okay? Google keyword high temperature superconductivity quote from Wiki. HTS superconductors have been observed with transition temperatures as high as 138K. Uh, minus 135 degrees Celsius. Until recently, only certain compounds of copper and oxygen, so-called coprates, were believed to have HTS properties, and the term high temperature superconductor was used interchangeably with cuprate superconductor for compounds such as bismuth, strontium, calcium, copper oxide, and yttrium barium uh, copper oxide. However, several iron-based compounds are now known to be superconducting at high temperatures. As of 2009, the highest temperature superconductor at ambient pressure is mercury, barium, calcium, copper oxide. Around 135K and is held by a cuprate provoskite material, which possibly reaches 164K under high pressure. So November 26, the Google the keyword nanotubes plus magnetic electric field. Self-assembly of te tetrahedral 58 nuclear barium vanadide oxide cluster. A picture of it there, and it's a Google link. And then there's the magnetic forces may turn some nanotubes into metals. And there's a picture of that image uh, from Sassazaric Rice University. We know carbon nanotubes are exceptionally strong, very light, and imbued with wonderful electrical properties that make them candidates for things like smart spacecraft components. This is a quote from a blog. Smart power grids, biological sensors, improved body armor, and countless other applications, said paper co-author Richard Smalley, director of Rice Carbon Nanotechnology Laboratory. These findings remind us that there are still unique and wonderful properties that we have yet to uncover about nanotubes. And that's from ScienceDaily.com. Okay, so my thoughts. High temperature superconductors, carbon nanotubes, electric field, magnets equals smart spacecraft components. I'm going to research more of these keywords in the next video. Thanks for watching.